Hello there. It's day four of telling raw stories every single day. Today's prompt is discovery, and this discovery is really close to my heart. Now, growing up, I have always enjoyed fiction, but have you ever been annoyed when authors write something you're meant to understand, but you just have no idea what it means? Something like, and a sense of unreality came upon him. What does that even mean? I used to always just roll my eyes and ignore it. I know that dramatic fiction authors have the license to be dramatic. <laughs> but that's until I discovered that this was an actual feeling. You see, when I collected my O-level transcripts, and when my eyes landed off on those grades, <laughs> that's the moment. See, for context, there were just eight of us doing art that year. It was 2009, and it's only been a few years that the art program has been set up in that school. Now, by the way, have you heard of the joke that when Bill Gates walked into the bar, the average net worth jumps to more than a billion dollars? Well, I have the opposite effect. When you put me into that group of art students, the talent level falls right down to the ground. Now, everybody else could sell their casually discarded drafts for good money. Me? <laughs> My work belonged right at home among the artwork of primary school children. You wouldn't even know the difference. In fact, I was actually surprised when I passed the audition to enroll in O-Level Art. The audition, um, my task was to create a pencil sketch of my own hand. I guess I nailed it. Especially if the goal was to draw a swollen hand stung by a million bees. <laughs> so when I actually looked at my results and saw that I was one of the two who's got A for art that year, the sense of unreality <laughs> came upon me. It's, it was like my eyes zoomed in right on that tiny line on the transcript while simultaneously zooming up to take in the panoramic view of that school hall. It was very disorienting. <laughs> but that day I discovered that, hey, maybe technical talent isn't the only criteria to making good art. Maybe I did well because of the story that accompanied my piece that was also sent for submission. I mean, if a banana could be taped to a wall in a museum and be considered art, then maybe the idea behind the art plays a big part in the definition of what it means to be art. So anyway, just before we left and scattered to the different schools for our next leg of education, our art teacher gifted each of us the sketchbook. I don't know what it says for my friends, but mine came with a message that said, Never give up on art you will only love it more. Back in 2009, I could only laugh bitterly and say, thank you, <laughs> thanks for the gift. And I left that sketchbook alone in the shelf for a very long time. I thought that my A grade was a stroke of luck. I just don't have the raw talent. But now, 15 years later, now that I'm making a living running my own creative communications business and Essentially, being an artist, now I discovered how true and how prophetic that statement is. Thank you. And that's my story for the day, and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>